Hello. Hi everybody. So today we're at Graje again. We came down from came back down from the mountains and are looking forward to try the Lynx. It's a little bit strong, so it should be good for a uh, wing with a little bit more um, trim speed. And there's loads of people flying, and I think I've never seen the takeoff so busy. So it's probably a little bit busy for me. Uh, I still feel like I want a lot of room and a lot of. Um space to kind of do my thing so I might fly later on if it doesn't yeah. if it like gets a little less busy or if I feel confident I usually like to watch a little bit first <laughs> yeah cool well I'm gonna I'm gonna get suited up get the stuff out and see see if we can get up yeah cool looks like a nice day I was just talking to some of the guys and it turns out it's a little bit strong, it's 28.30 but I was just told there's a little lower takeoff that we didn't know about where there's a little bit less compression and less wind so because this is a full size wing and I usually fly with yours which is a little bit smaller I might just go and try and take the opportunity to ch check that one out Cool Travel is really short, like in the Cure, but it's nice because once it gets above you uh, on launch and stuff, it has very little drag, so it's quite easy to penetrate into wind. Flying is actually really fast. It, you can feel it, you can hear it in your ears, you can feel it in your face. There's a lot of forward speed there compared to what I'm usually flying, so uh, it gives you a lot more options. So, yeah, it's interesting. I think I'll, uh, I'll go again. I'm, I'm gonna get my gloves though, because it's a bit cold.
pretty good. Uh, just pushed full speed bar, so that was quite interesting. It's very fast on trim and very fast on bar as well. I think I'm gonna go for another one. And uh, yeah, it has really good rear riser control. So uh, yeah, if you pull on the seas, it has a lot of authority. Well, if you just put a little bit of pressure, not really pull on the seas, but yeah, it's really interesting. I'm gonna go again. Okay, see you in a bit. So, the Lynx, first run out. It's good. How was that? It's really good, but I've uh, made, uh -huh. a made a mess. Oh dear. These unsheathed lines are so thin that they tangle really, really easily. And they also make a really funny noise in flight. They go like, because you're going fast and there's so much thinner. In fact, the what whole- What do they do? The whole, the whole harness vibrates in a different way because of the speed <laughs> and it just sounds different. So I noticed you were being a little bit more conservative than you normally would. Were you still trying to be a bit cautious with it, with it being your first time out? Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, I did try speed bar, wing overs, a little bit of the brake range on top landing and stuff, but yeah. I, I was, I, Nothing crazy? No, no, no. I always try to be as cautious as possible in trying something new. And then the more you know about it, the more you should push it a little bit, but not everything at once. Cool. So yeah, that was fun. Um, my first time flying a lightweight wing, you can really feel that the, the, the material is so thin. More paper, eh? It's yeah. weird. It, it catches the, when, it, when you're just laying it out on launch, it catches the wing a lot easier. And it was right, really good to discover that at lower launch, because I, I don't know why we didn't know that it, where, that existed, but it's... It's quite obvious to see from the launch site when you <laughs> when you know where it is, but yeah. and it's quite nice and big and open, isn't it? So, yeah. And it's, you had it to yourself. It's not big, but the thing it has good is quite steep, so if it's strong wind, you have a lot more grip on your feet. But it also means that the wing can get inflated easier. But yeah, I think I want to fly the Lynx uh, quite a bit more to get a proper feel for it. And I know it's not the sort of thing you supposedly fly at the beach, but I'm just really interested in flying new wings and this is where, where we can fly. Yeah. So uh, yeah, and thanks to David from BGD for uh, lending me the wing, it's, it's really nice. And uh, yeah, I'm sure you'll see it in future videos. Uh, as always, we want to thank all these lovely people on Patreon for supporting the channel. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And We'll see you on the next one. Yeah, we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.